Well folks, we all know that eating right and getting enough sleep are keys to a healthy lifestyle, but how many of us actually follow those recommendations? Not many of us, about 70 million Americans actually suffer from sleep problems and almost 70% of American adults are overweight or obese. So how are they linked and what can we do? Glad you asked. Here to answer those, some of those questions, dietitian Michaela Mitchell. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Oh, Janet, I'm so excited to be here. Thank I'm you. I'm glad <laughs> to have you. We're talking about the guide to good sleep, if you will. Right. Are Americans getting enough sleep? Well, no. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, a lot of us aren't. But, you know, I have great news for you this morning, and that's that with just a few simple lifestyle changes and paying attention to some mm -hmm. important things in your diet, good sleep doesn't have to be just a dream. You really can achieve it. You really can have it. Okay, <laughs> really so can. let's talk about this a little bit and how dairy and some other foods can help us with that good sleep. Because, I mean, as a morning right. person, our hours are a little crazy, but there are things we can implement. There are things you can implement. So if you want to, you know, diet-wise, um, let's remember that dairy mm -hmm. foods are the leading source of calcium in Americans' right. diet. But in addition to that, um, the foods that you see here on this tray are also rich in um, tryptophan, okay. which help produce melatonin and serotonin, and that helps us produce that sleepy feeling nice. at night that we need to get good sleep. So just some examples, you know, we think of oats as a morning food, but actually they're quite rich in tryptophan. So wow. if you needed a little bed time snack. Okay. Um, oats would not be a bad cool. choice, right? Who yeah, knew, right? I know. <laughs> you definitely think breakfast when you think oatmeal. Yeah, and okay. dried cherries um, are another great source, and bananas. And then on the dairy front, obviously, you know, I've got some uh, Greek yogurt with raspberries nice. here. Uh, and some cheese. And then one of my favorite new recipes mm -hmm. for fall, this is called a lavender milk steamer. Okay, now how does that work? Because I saw you like sifting that. How, how does that work? Yeah, so <laughs> you just add some uh, dried lavender flowers okay. to milk and what you could do is just steam that Ooh, nice. on the stove top for maybe 10, 15 minutes okay. over low heat. Okay. Add your lavender and then you're going to, um, you know, use a strainer, mm -hmm. strain out that lavender, but the flavor and the aroma is still imagine. there. It's so soothing, great way to boost nutrition. Yeah. Add a little bit of almond extract a little bit of honey for sweetness and it okay. is off to dreamland you grow grandma had it right on that one exactly <laughs> that sounds to them I mean we all when we think of lavender we think of you know calming and, mm -hmm. and it kind of puts you to bed so something right. to do right before bed maybe you can do it right before bed you're going to get that calming effect mm -hmm. but you're also going to get the nine essential vitamins and minerals that most Americans are missing that's awesome. in the dairy now other than foods what can we do yes let's talk lifestyle mm -hmm. we know we need to exercise mm -hmm. exercise without a doubt um, improves your ability to mm -hmm. sleep but pay attention to the timing some oh, folks gotcha. are sensitive if you exercise in the evening it can actually delay the onset is that because your, your body's still kind of going your metabolism right. is sped up okay. exactly and it doesn't happen to everyone but you have gotcha. to pay attention to what works and doesn't work for you so if if evening exercise tends to jazz mm -hmm. you up a little too much gotcha. you might want to move your time up to earlier in the day that makes sense and then new catchphrase for the year electronic sundown electron mm. electronic sundown you I already know I'm where i'm going right that. cell phones <laughs> oh i know i know right uh, yeah. your body needs complete darkness in order to produce melatonin okay. and so you can actually delay your body creating that wow. by looking into a lip screen like a TV a tablet a it's smartphone true. it's bad I sleep right next my phone right next to me I know it's not good <laughs> well, <laughs> well, Janet, Janet, we awareness is half the, half, the, half the issue there exactly. so it sounds like you're already you know gotcha making steps okay. there so you call it electronic an electronic sundown electronic sundown Got and it. just the same way we have a natural sundown mm -hmm. outside to produce darkness every That's night true. you can create your own electronic sundown you know by um, cutting off those yeah, electronics. shutting down the phone. <laughs> you know, right. we have to do it, we got to do it. Well, thank you so much, Michaela. And we actually have all this information on our website right now. So if you're out there and you're like, I need to get some good Z's at night, we've got some help for you and some good recipes too, like the lavender. Absolutely, uh, really southeastdairy.org. Awesome, thank you so much again, Michaela. I thank appreciate you. that. And I will, I promise, I will sundown. <laughs> All right. More good day, folks, on the way, including your full forecast. Stay with us.